This particular feature, types of bracing underneath your horse trailer, there are really three types that we are aware of at Horse Trailer Post that are used in the United States today in horse trailer manufacturing. The first one that we're going to take a look at is going to be painted steel. The photo that you see, these are steel cross members. Uh, this particular one is red of, of all colors, but most manufacturers will use a, a nice primer and paint or even some sort of black undercoating. In fact, many all aluminum trailers are constructed, uh, of course the axles are steel, but many times the box area around the, the axles themselves may be uh, housed in sort of a steel cage. So. Uh, as far as the underside of the trailer, the main thing to be concerned with is uh, if you're purchasing a used trailer is that uh, it's solid and, and sturdy and if it is a new trailer, uh, chances are the manufacturer has undercoated it very well if it's a steel trailer so you'll get many years of use. Of course, uh, this this one shown on the screen, not to alert you, I mean, this is probably a 1970s trailer. Uh, it looks really nasty cosmetically, but you can see that, you know, even these steel beam cross members are still intact uh, after, you know, 20 or 30 years of use. So uh, it's generally not one of the areas of failure in, uh, in manufacturing. So the next one that we're going to look at is an all aluminum uh, trailer or at least the cross members underneath are aluminum. So we're not really focused on the floor, the portion that the horse stands on, but we're really talking about the bracing underneath as to what holds the trailer together. And you'll notice that all of these cross members are aluminum on this particular trailer. And then the last one to look at is going to be a composite. Now, most of the composite materials that are available today, uh, there's one that uh, is really common, and uh, it's more of a galvanized material is what it is. So these particular supports are galvanized, and uh, it would be just an in-between material, uh, very strong, uh, has the non-rusting capabilities like aluminum and then of course strong like steel. So some manufacturers uh, may actually use this particular material.